Hello, so today I'm going to do a video on a brand new gas mask, as in it's brand new out the box, it's been around for a little while. So lots of you will be familiar with this, the Scott GSR, the current British Army um, service respirator, although it's probably being sort of phased out or at least going through the Avon upgrade program at the moment. Um, I personally didn't like this when it first came out, they got better over time and the Avon versions are certainly better, um, but obviously, you know, it's up to you if you like the mask or not. But there's a 40mm version of it by default called the FRR, or is it FFR? Um, FRR, I always forget the acronym. So the difference is, this one is 40mm by standard, the one I'll do the unboxing on. And the GSR, as lots of you know, uses its own sort of filters, so it has that lock on. Now there is a 40mm port under there. I won't do it in today's video, but we'll do a comparison with... My old GSR with these bits permanently removed, so it's 40mm. This GSR with the actual one and the FRR. So let me put that back on. There we go, that's locked on. So, let's open the box. So there you go, there's the label. So I bought this through Hype because weirdly it was easier for him to get a load of brand new ones into China and then sell them off to people in Europe than buying them actually in the UK. Because, you know, that sort of logic with stuff. Always. The filter's just a random one he sent me that I'm going to open just for the video. Right, so let's have a look at what's inside the box. Now, these I'll just take out separately so I don't lose them. There's the glasses inserts. Obviously, you get your prescriptions put into those frames, then they mount in, which I'm actually very tempted to do now when I get my next eye test done. And then I can actually have a respirator of the proper, you know, fitting out the box, um, you know, respirator bits for it. So that's that. I'll, I'm assuming this will actually fit in the GSR as well because most of the bits are going to be interchangeable between these. Right, so here's the mask in its actual bag. And as you can see, it's completely sealed, so completely brand new. And just so you can see, look, those bits look different than the GSRs. They've got a specific cap for the 40mm bits and a blanking plug by the look of it. So that's that, let's not open that yet. There's just a bit of cardboard in the bottom, obviously, to keep the shape of it. And there we've got our manual, so FRR. So as you can see, I'll just do it with a single filter in this video, but you can do it, I assume, dual filter? So there's all the instructions for it. Shows you how the drinking tube works. Anyway, um, let me get started. Let's put that back in the box for now. Let's put the GSR to the side. I'll put these in here for now because we're not going to need them for the video now. And right, let's open this. So let me get it all in frame properly. Let me zoom out slightly because you don't want to miss this. And hopefully you'll get a bit of a hissing noise when we open this. I don't have a little knife on me, so I'll just try and rip it with my finger. So it's quite a good bag. Yeah, it's a good bag. Out, oh, no real hiss, but it was airtight, as you could tell. So let's get this open. Right, so I'll keep the face form for this. So yes. At the moment, it's like a GSR when you get one if it's not been issued and it's got its face form in it still, you know, to keep the mask in shape. So what we'll do, ah, there's just some more spare parts that have come out there, so I'll definitely put them safe in the bag. I think they're the bits for the drink, yeah, they're the bits for the drinking tube, so yeah, put them in the box. Right, so there we go. So, from the outside, other than the filter things, it looks like a GSR. Let's take this out now. So you go, there's the face form. Right, so here is the mask. So, yeah, if you're looking at that, you might think it's a GSR without the filters, but obviously this, as you can see, has a proper 40mm port on it, rather than like how it's done with the GSR. And there's, I'm assuming, a blanking plug on that one. It might need a tool to actually swap that bit over, so we won't, or is it just a... Let's try to work out without reading the instructions if you can flip that over, but never mind. We won't bother with that for now anyway, like I said, I'm just using one filter. So... You notice the inside of the mask is new and very clean, it just doesn't have the drinking tube attached to it at the moment, but we won't worry about that because I won't be planning on using this as a drinking tube. So what I'm going to do now, open this filter. So this isn't a full-on CRVN filter, it is a Chinese, I believe. Am I getting it open? I'm not sure if it's actually a Ghost or NATO one, but it should fit the mask fine. It is a... Delta Plus, I'm assuming that's going to be maybe A2, oh yeah, A2P3, ah. So quite a nice little 
plastic bottom bit, so you can have a bigger opening bit there. There we go, so plastic filter, screw that on. There we go, right, time to try on the mask. Right, here we go, I really ought to get round to shaving my hair again at some point. So, here is the mask, looks like the strap's already fully undone on it. And the bit there says, Scott APR CBRN apt as cap 1. 2910-2014, so this mask is only, what, um, 8 years old? And if it has a shelf life of 20 years or whatever, I don't actually know, then that would be lasting till 2034 or whatever, which is pretty damn good. So, here we go, let's try it on for the first time. Um, so, yep. Let's get the straps. Hopefully. Oh. Now let's get them to tighten, they're probably going to be a bit stiff the first time I do them, because, um, Obviously it's not been done before on this particular one. Yeah, they're certainly not easy to do up for the first time because you have to really actually tighten them sort of manually, if that makes sense. You know, rather than just being able to do that, they don't want them to move that much. But anyway, once you've probably had it on and off a few times, they'll probably move normally. Do I need to do my top ones up? Probably not. Anyway, is that... Yeah, that's pressurising. I'd probably get these two. Bits like this. So, so yeah, that's nice and comfortable. Um, so it's certainly easier to breathe through a filter with this than it is with the GSR with one 40mm filter on it or whatever. So it does seem that the difference is with this that the 40mm port is actually like a better 40mm port than the one, you know, where it's the 40mm port on the regular um, GSR and then they've changed it. So, for comparison of what they both look like, pretty much the same mask. Um, same style um, thing there, so that the drinking tube works in the exact same way. So yeah, this is basically like the factory version of a 40mm GSR, without it having to be, you know, um, sort of made different. So let's just see if I get those straps loose. Pull that off. Okay, so now, for comfort comparison reasons, the size might be a bit different, I'll check that in a minute. Let me try my actual GSR on. Yeah, it feels basically exactly the same. So let's take one filter off so it locks the air coming from that one. Yeah, it's certainly easier to breathe in the actual 40mm one compared to a GSR. Um, I do like the look of the fit conform sort of filters on these, especially when you do a one by one side comparison. But yeah, just to show you the two ports side by side. Take that out. Might as well just take this off. Right. So. Yep. Round that way and that way. Basically, as you can see, the GSR has that sort of... Oh, I'm doing it wrong, my wrong way around. GSR has that sort of locking lug style system. This one has just a standard 40mm system. But yeah, if you removed this bit off the GSR... Um, that bit, um, it's not a 40mm port of the same quality as this one, because obviously it seems that the GSR they've got a much more basic kind of fitted thing in it, and then they've, you know, the, although it's 40mm with an adapter type thing in it, it's not to the same standard. That might sound weird, because you'd think a 40mm port's a 40mm port, but I think it's to do with the way the valves and the air pressure system set up. So I would say, if you want a GSR in 40mm, just get the proper FRR, you know, first thing because yes you can modify these sort of irreversibly to make them 40 millimeter but the experience of my 40 millimeter gsr is it still has a bit of air resistance um that doesn't feel quite right so again i assume it's to do a valve setup and stuff like that because it probably because if i remember right where that's got like an orangey red valve in there these have green valves on the inside if i remember right so i will do a video at some point comparing all you know all of them together but yeah, so the reason is, um, the size for 
GSR I have might be slightly more comfortable to me than the FRR in size 3, but there's not much difference in it. Because if you put these sort of into each other like that, you can probably see that there's barely any difference in the size. Um, I think it just, it's also a case of wearing it in. Because um, this one feels quite stiff with the sort of chin filter, where this one's a bit squishier, although it's still in there. So, why exactly that is, I don't know, but you know. Sometimes I think these things have to wear in a bit to your face. Because like I said, the main thing with this one is the straps don't move very well when they're straight out of the packet because of the fact that obviously they've not been, you know, used before. It's a bit and that's the case of a lot of things, you know. Anyway, so yes, um thanks to Hype for letting me buy this through him and thanks for the free filter he sent me as well. Um that will come in handy, especially at the moment with all the stuff going on. I'm gonna pop the caps back on it for now because I don't need that filter for now, because I've got some other ones that are still blocking you know, odours when I'm doing it, using filters for less serious stuff. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, the FRR seems quite good. Again, there's lots of, I'd say, probably better 40mm masks out there, but depending on the budget range, because, you know, if you can get one of these inside of its service date for a reasonable amount of money, then you're completely set, because this is a very good mask, you know, if you wanted to get a good 40mm mask that you knew would be reliable, as in it's not a really old surplus one. Like I said, there's plenty of surplus masks that can be in really good condition and still good with good filters. But, you know, ideally if you're buying a mask for protective purposes, you are buying one that's within its service life. Right, anyway, thanks for watching.